is KCBD News Channel 11 at 6. Good evening and a thank you for joining us. Today is the deadline we told you about last week when it comes to challenging a map the FCC has created about broadband availability across the nation. And now Texas has published one as well to find out where it should send funding to get everyone connected. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks has the update. I think when the Texas map comes out, it will be a little better. As we talked with the chair of the governor's broadband council, Floyd County Judge Marty Lukey, about what the FCC put together, he told us Texas was designing its own broadband map. The broadband office is actually the policymaker, you know, under the legislature. That Texas broadband office, under the direction of state comptroller Glenn Hagar, just launched the map, which was also required by state law. The interactive overview uses information from Internet service providers to show where various types of high-speed Internet access is available. Blue shows areas served, orange underserved, and red unserved. Lubbock County shows nearly 4% are unserved. The main emphasis is going to be upon the unserved areas, then the underserved areas. And the goal of the state map is to determine areas eligible for state funding to help people get access. Hagar says an area is eligible if less than 80% of serviceable locations have access to Internet at a certain speed. Hagar takes issue with the definition of high speed as set by the FCC and also used in Texas law. He says the Broadband Development Office believes those speeds are not sufficient to meet the needs of many communities and that speed isn't everything. Reliability also matters. He also says the data in the map from Internet service providers may not be accurate when compared to speed tests on the ground. He suspects flaws in this map as well as the FCC's, which right now were developed using a similar process. So he encourages everyone to engage with the office and take advantage of upcoming challenge opportunities. He also says the map will be regularly updated with additional information and data gathered by the office, which is, along with lawmakers, set to prioritize funding in the coming year. Case Wilbanks, KCBD News Channel 11.